What is going on over there? Oh my god! Oh, you... Hello. Hey, big boy. Hello, but welcome back to the episode of Wasteland Survival to Zaber Return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are kicking things off with a little bit of wave defense as per usual. We got our pup ready to help. We got some weaponry and we got some romas. We got a slice and dice in half. And dude, we're getting some like... A Big hits on these guys since what is this thing doing like double damage or something or does it just do like more damage than I thought it does doesn't matter But we do have a large wave. Oh, no, we are doing 90 damage that just says oh, it says 84 to 86 I was reading a different number. I think but today we're gonna be getting it out of here matters Let's get rid of these dudes. Oh, the mosquito. Oh, no, dude. This is a big boy to say the least these waves What is happening to these waves these things have gotten ridiculous Donkulous! What is this? Another batter over here? Yeah, I'll just continue taking out the batters. Um, and then I'm gonna take these dudes over to the spikes. There's still another wave after this. Holy guacamole. This is gonna be no bueno. All right, you gotta go. Please stop attacking my walls. I'd appreciate that. And it's been a bit of a minute since we last hopped into Wasteland Survival, as you all may or may not know. And, uh, well, as such, it appears... Oh my god, stop breaking my stuff! Um, that uh, quite a few things have happened. And uh, they broke my turret! Oh my god. So I, th I think for every, like every day we've been gone, I think the zombies have continued uh, absolutely pooping on us. Hopefully they don't destroy our, uh, whatchamacallit, spikes here. The ultimate terror is upon us. That doesn't sound good. How do I repair you, my friend? Uh, with MG parts, that thing's just totally destroyed. Dang. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. We have come back to the struggle bus. This is the biggest struggle bus I've ever witnessed. Oh no, we still got, okay, a couple of, just some fast spiders over here. Oh no, we got the big boy. Oh my God. That was a very big boy. Wowzers. I guess we'll revive. Are they, uh, are they still attacking my base by chance? I, I, I think that they might be. Yes, they are. Um, I'm gonna grab this stuff back real quick. Okay, let's just a quick take all over there. Uh, I'm gonna need to start dealing with Big Boy McGee over there before he deals with me because he's dealing with me very well. Okay, okay, no, don't shoot those dudes. Actually, okay, this is beautiful. He's stuck over there. Oh, I'm a little bit scared of him. He's a very powerful adversary that we have learned the hard way. But for now, see you later. Oh, what? What? I died again. At least we intercepted it successfully, but uh, that is a problem that it appears you run into. There are our damage meters. That thing's destroyed. Our spike trap's almost destroyed. Apparently, our moose had tried defending. Uh, we haven't lost anything, but a lot of our defenses were lost. Oh, did they kill my moose? Oh, say it ain't so. Is my moose alive? Mr. Moose, how are you doing, buddy? I will try to bring you food when I can. Uh, they're both wounded. Dear mama. Um, so here's a as I was saying, I think what happens is that, uh, these attacks of the daily variety, they continue even when you don't log in. Because the difficulty of this has ramped up considerably, and as you guys can see, our turret is totally destroyed. Definitely not the best things going our way. Maybe this chest will give us something amazing to make up for it. Okay, some ammo! Honestly, I will take that to the bank. I am probably in desperate need of ammo, but I'm also in desperate need of opening the encrypted lock into the shelter. And dude, oh my god, all our walls are destroyed. This is bad, so... Only white noise. However, we should be able to tune this into another radio station, and I can hear the password. 8409, through that series of beeps and boops. And then, out of curiosity, if I keep on going, what's over here on the right? Music. All right. Oh, it continues if I go over here, too. Well, I don't want the music. Give me the white noise. I'll take it. And the default music as well. Um, now then, we just have these two weapons at our disposal. And uh, I don't really know what else we should bring it along. Like, probably some clothes? So I've gone and picked up some of the best clothes we've honestly had in reserve. It is hilarious how the junk is still turning, though, man. And we gotta find some MG parts at some point to try and repair this dang thing. I don't think we have that, like, in our rewards anywhere. We just have all these spoils of zombies as well that you guys can't see that... Dude, we actually have a lot of those, too. And here's the thing. 
I think those caps can be redeemed at the shelter. So we're going to go ahead and actually... Oh, hello. What is this box again? What do I need to open that? Isn't that like... Uh, I need a key for it. Maybe one day. But uh, going back to what I was talking about, we do have all of these coins in addition to... Oh, you know what, you know what else too? This could be the day. Has my husky healed by chance? Can the husky mating is coming soon? I'm not interested about mating. God dang it. The husky is not ready. Oh, I can skip for zero, though. All right. Didn't spend a coin, and the husky's back out to play. I got to add some food for him to protect my home. No, I want you to follow me, husky, because the husky, as you guys can see, uh, twice the health, already more powerful than a shepherd, way more defense, and we got to give him some bones and stuff like that, but... We got to try and level up this lad as well. So we got a couple of pretty cool things to be doing here with the puppy as well. But so uh, for now, uh, oh, I got to grab the green coins as well. And we do also have two red bottle caps over there. However, I'm not sure how necessary those are necessarily going to be because I feel like we're going to need way more than two to do anything. So without further ado, onwards, we go into the big map and all the perils and potential adventures that may lie within and mainly ooh, crashed airplane i'd love to go to you but listen i gotta focus and that focus today is shelter 13 finally checking it out because we need to explore it we need to find the chest over there and we got to open the encrypted lock and uh, hopefully there isn't like a special access card we need to get into here kind of like there is in last day on earth for bunker alpha because if so i definitely did not bring that along for the ride and kind of definitely took that partial l there but hmm Shelter 13, yes, lad, indeed. We have arrived at Shelter 13 and already coming across some chests we might be able to uh, loot on up. Will this count for that one quest? It will. Ooh, a lot of green tokens. Definitely like the sound of that. Oh, I think that is the next component for our chopper. Definitely a very good pickup as well. Okay, okay. Things are coming up pretty millhouse. Getting some band-aids. A fresh shirt. Bless up, dude. This one is broke McGee. How do we get into here? That is where we need that Alpha 13 access card, which or Shelter 13 access card. I think we have one at home and or maybe chilling in our inbox. Maybe. I don't think so but yeah that's what i thought okay oh uh, let's continue checking out some of this peripheral area around shelter 13 though seeing what these chests have hello kind sir they got some interesting stuff a chemistry station we learned how to craft some friggity fresh shoes amongst other things i might just leave some of these tokens because we got to run back home anyways as we just learned so I might leave some of the stuff that we're going to be, like, using here anyway. Might as well leave the armor, too, because, like, probably our armor is going to break in. Sorry about the burp there. Uh, whatchamacallit, we're going to want that fresh set as well. Dude, if somehow all those tokens we have despawn, I might cry, but it shouldn't because we're going to be coming back to the exact same location. I don't think all the loot should reset, and if it does, so be it. We've officially played ourselves, but yeah, at this point, we just got to go and get that Shelter 13 access card. Unless, again, there might be, like, one more chest somewhere around these outskirts. Hello! We got some lockers over there. We'll invest them again. But, uh, yeah, it looks like that is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does look like that is the move. So we'll go ahead and do that very quickly. But if you guys are enjoying the series, enjoying the video, and do want to see more, definitely let me know, of course, by hitting that like button and saying so in that comment section down below. Not to mention, making sure that you are subscribed with that notification bell. Hit those are some of the best ways of showcasing support for a series, and that's your lads and lassies do indeed want more of it, because I'm a man of the people. If the people want more of something, I will do everything in my power to try and bring them the moreness of, uh, it. But all right, back into here we go, and again we have what we want. Do we have that Shelter 13 access card hidden away, or did the zombies ya yeet it away during their crusade against us? Which, by the way, is not at all appreciated, although I do appreciate this freaking husky pup. It is the husky, right? Yeah, it is the husky. It says husky. It doesn't look like 100% like a husky, but maybe that's just me being picky. Here we have the Shelter 13 access card. Let's go ahead and uh, put away some of these things. I might actually put on that. I'm bringing the better shoes with just to play it safe. We'll put on that friggity fresh hat. Probably should have put that on a little bit earlier. And with everything necessary, put away for safety's sake and for the safety of the loot. I mean, let's start making our way back over to Shelter 13 through the water. Of course, only way that makes sense. We're going to 
swim our way over there. Michael Phelps style. And any new events popping up? Nope. That's another thing that I do definitely want to see out of Wasteland hopefully soon. Like another update that actually like, I don't know, allows some more events. Because currently the events are kind of limited. Like we have seen the crash the plane. We have seen the trailer and we have seen the airdrop. It is nice that the crashed plane continues to occur a lot. It doesn't like stop kind of like the last down earth one does, or maybe we just haven't gotten to be a high enough level for it to start stopping. But uh, regardless, eh, things have been pretty good with it. So I can't complain And All right, let's go and get those caps back from up here in this chest. Do not want to be leaving those behind. Do not want them to somehow despawn or glitch out. I need those right here right now because with some of those caps that we have in our inbox from all this defense too dude i got a feeling we might be able to get something really good out of here so for now let's access this place confirm it and here we are hello buddy well you just gave me the code all right well good thing that you were over there there's a key well i wonder what could we possibly need to put into here could it be 8409 that was exactly what we needed to put. And we have a reward awaiting us. And that reward, let's get to claiming, is some nails, some red paint, and that thingamabob. And next up, oh, the legendary helmet may indeed await. Now, as you guys are seeing, we do have this next set of quests involving more Shelter 13 stuff, which is uh, good news for me. We also have that, uh, what you call gas tank that we are definitely going to be bringing home with us after Shelter 13, so we could try and make more progress on, ooh, enhanced pants. Why can't all pants be enhanced, bro? That's what I'm talking about. We got some band-aids over there. We got some glue. We're going to put the band-aids into our extra pocket over there so we have that easy access to go mm, hopefully the enemies don't get too tough too quickly we do still have some decent pistol ammo for anyone that might be hello dude this is the gift that keeps on giving i'm not gonna lie shelter 13 even just your outskirts has some Ooh, the ammo box could be good oh seven green bottle caps dude things are coming up pretty millhouse and we still got how many more is this four more lockers over here Oh, let's get to it, baby. Locker numero uno. Even. Oh, my God. Where do I use this? Can be traded for supply chests at the shelter. Okay, dude. I want that freaking chest, whatever you're talking about. Scrap the bucket, my guy. That is a barrel. I do not think that that is a bucket. I hate to burst your barrel, burst your bubble, burst whatever it is that needs bursting. A uh, little bit of meat here. Definitely a good thing to have just for healing sake. A little bit more glue. We'll grab that. Some of these other valuables here, like the gun component. This is going to be destroyed in seven days. So we need to make sure to grab this sometime soon, by the way. I just noticed that little, like, countdown at the top. A little bit spooky, knowing that that exists. Hello, adrenaline shots. I don't know what perils lie beneath us, so I will keep you on my inventory for now let's continue collecting those i'll leave the nails behind i'll come back to those we still got a week till this stuff despawns but uh into shelter 13 we go and what lies within this bunker alpha equivalent of wasteland survival i don't know a, a completed mission apparently and we have a vending machine Dude, this looks like my freaking uh call of duty black ops juggernaut machine we got a booze and we got some of that. Utilize the train and move in a crouch. Okay. Will do. It's telling me to go this way. Do you not see do you guys see that arrow there? It says to go this way. Huh. Alright, well for now let's open this up. And uh, let's try and get sneaky deaky with some of these dudes. That is an earth shaker. Do you have anything that does 50 damage? You not so much. Yeah, no. So what I will do is have this equipped and yeah, yeet! That man in one hit. Ooh, Husky got the level up. Okay, hold up, Husky. How's your damage looking now? Still 24 and 20? Did you not get more powerful? Oh my god, I've been bamboozled. Thought my Husky would like get better or something. I guess not. What is this over here? Engineer? Yeah, you will go bye bye into one hit. You drop nothing. I don't know what he dropped. He has like the purple X, but it's not like he really dropped anything. And. All right, this guy we could take out with uh, 
Lucille, yeah, let's use you. Let's let's use Lucille. Swing better, better swing. Swung that right into the wall. Holy big hits, Batman. Oh, now it is time to collect this legendary looking storm helmet. Get in my belly, Mr. Helmet. Lucille over there, nothing super special. Some 12 gauge might be nice for when we get a shotgun. But now they want us to explore the second floor, kill a lot of zombies, and search a lot of chests. I will do my best. Is this where? Ooh, I think so. Where the trading can be done. So what do I do over here? 30 yellow caps will get me some sort of reward. How many green? 40 green will get me some sort of reward. So I'm guessing maybe 20 red will get me a reward as well. And that could have a double barrel shotgun. Ooh, that could be absolutely gas. All right, though, first things first, let's check out a couple of these neighboring rooms over here and see... Hello, Buckethead, god dang it. Oh, what they're all about. Let's go and poison him a little bit so we're doing some damage over time. Pupper, you want to go into attack mode? That's what I'm talking about. Be that distraction. I need you to be beautiful. Please don't die, by the way. He has enough health. I think me and him make for a nice wombo combo. I'll give him some bones after this to indulge in. See you later. Oh, he got a free level up, actually, and he has a talent awaiting. I think the fact that he's a husky too means that there's like a special talent that applies to him. Yeah, plus 20% attack to huskies. What is this? And huskies have a 15% extra. Ooh, they got some really good ones. But for now, extra attack. I'll take it. Let's roll with that for now. Good puppy. Yo, oh, who's a good boy? You're a good boy, Mr. Husky. You're a good boy. I am flabbergasted why that dude has a pink X and I can't do anything. Okay. Oh, no. This guy noticed us. The Earth Shaker. All right. Husky! If you could just attack this fella real quick, kind of take the heat off me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now when he dies, whoa! Didn't do anything sketchy. No, we're good. All right, I thought he'd like, ah, what's going on? I'm dying. Oh, of hunger. I was about to say, like, oh my god, he's attacking me from his death. Nah, I just dying of hunger like the dingus that I am. Uh, dude, our husky's up to level six. He is leveling up nicely here. Let's get all sneaky deaky like. I'll put him in uh, stealth mode so he doesn't potentially attack this feller when we shouldn't be. Let's go to the machete and swing. Better, better, better swing. Ow. We'll go back into attack mode for you. I'll grab Lucille's bat. And this should be a GG's. Bye bye. Hello. A level up though. Uh, we do have a locker over here. We need some water. Hopefully we find some water. I know we found some booze back there. Wow. That is trash. Literally and figuratively and metaphorically. Maybe it's not all of those, but it's probably like two of the three. All right. Um, we are literally two greens short. Why don't we honestly redeem this on the way back up? Can we redeem the yellow though? I know we have some yellows. We got two, two. No, we can't. We, we, we cannot redeem the yellows. We might be able to get a green one popped open, but even then, our inventory's looking like we gotta come back here with like an empty inventory or something. Oh. Hello, floor number two. Currently, the only other floor to even have the ability to go to it. Does that mean there are only two floors, or does that mean we need to unlock more? I don't know, but we gotta kill 15 zombies over here and search five chests. Now, from what I'm seeing, God dang it, we can't do that over there. Uh, that's all right, we'll make a do. Uh, there's something over here. I see blood. This door's been locked from the other side. I see spider webs. Are they gonna be giant spiders? Bruh, this could go poorly depending on a lot of things. All right, this is a, oh, I'm seeing the spider webs. Dude, what is happening? Excuse me? What is going on over there? Oh my God. Oh, you, hello. Hey, big boy. So we're we just gonna not talk about the 500 foot spider down there. Cause I'm, I'm cool if that's uh, what we do. Romer, yeah, we'll take you out real quick. One hit of quitter. I'm gonna start running across like spiders or something. That, that's kind of what I'm scared of right now. Um, I will eat some of you. Bring my health back up, bring the hunger back up, bring a little bit of hydration up. Oh, mama, we got a lot of dudes. We got a lot of dudes. Was not expecting all of you already, but I should be able to take a lot of you guys out with uh, two swings of pop. There we go, dude. We send that stuff flying. All right, we got to deal with the earth shaker over here a little bit. Ow, he spit. He spit. He protect, he attack. Oh, let's get our dog out of freaking. Oh, our dog is not happy. 
All right, hold up, doggo. I'll get you a little bit of bones here. Okay, I don't want you being a sad boy. There you go. Bones for you. Let's engage in... Oh, he's already engaged in combat. Oh, there we go. Nice. We got rid of that guy. He had the area of attack going. Husky's already up to level eight. Did you drop anything? God dang it, man. Drop something for me. Like, one of these times. We still got like two dudes over there. We got the batter guy. He should fall pretty quickly. Hey, level up for me and the pupper. And another guy falling. Easy peasy. Oh, we got a relatively larger hallway awaiting us here. And the question is, okay, we got dudes down that hallway. The question is, where, oh, where? Okay, we might be able to get a sneak attack off on one of these two dudes. We got the engineer. Let's yeah, yeet him. Do 120 damage. And let's get a couple more hits off on this guy. He'll do just a little bit of damage to us. I'm not too worried. A swing. Better, better, better swing. Goodbye to you. Dude, those spiders, though. Is that the third floor? Is there some sort of, like, massive boss down there? Because whatever's going on, I am very spooked by it. I don't like. Hello, that's a broken bridge. Seems to be some sort of a generator down there. Let's get sneaky deaky. We should be able to take out the batter. Oh, baby, we got a batter coming this way. And then we got sneak attack that dude over there. Who is this? Earth Shaker, y'all. Yeah, Let's get a big hit off on you. The doggo, engage in combat. Oh, the one-hitter quitter. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's not anger that guy, dog. Please, let's go into chill mode here. Okay. He's on the other side. He kind of has the power. And I have the bow with which I will shoot him. No. There we go. Let's charge this bad boy. Yeah, he has a lot of health. All he can do is spit on us, though. So that's the good news. We just got to kind of, like, watch out for that spit attack. Oh, no. Watch out for that spit attack every once in a while. But other than that... Just continue kind of just uh, pumping them full of these. Bless up for that fence. My hero. Now, we should be able to get three shots off between each of his spits from what I'm noticing here. So, uh, I'm going to continue using this bow to the best of our ability and uh, taking them out. Oh, there we go. So, unfortunately, it is broken. So, I guess we use rest of AK. He's almost dead. We might just go in to kill him with a single swing. Actually, we'll just use the rest of his pistol. Get two bullets off and boop. See you later. That marks our 15th zombie. Oh, what is going on? Oh, it's his freaking the, 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 the poop. The freaking toxic diarrhea he has after his fall. Gee, bus. All right. So, um, in that case, I will eat a little bit food. Restore health. Restore water. We've got these pumpkins we could sip on as well. Everything's calmed down a bit. Let's check out what we got here. Take all. We got the needler there. Ugh. Dude, these freaking zombie insects, they are ruthless, to say the least. Uh, we could eat that. Uh, we could grab the cog, grab that. I'll eat that body for now. We could always come back and grab some of these lootables that we are seeing here. Um, Something might be on the other side of this doorway. Let's be a little bit careful for that. Boop. Oh, yeah, we got a couple of batters coming our way. Luckily, Lucille finishes them in two hits. Easy peasy. And if we get our doggo along the way... Honestly, I, our doggo could just take him out there. Good stuff, Husky. Oh, I love you, Papa. All right, and then let's sneaky deaky up a little bit. Husky, let's not attack. God dang it, the Husky got me noticed. That's all good. It's good practice for me and the Husky Doodle, because look at the damage we could do together. Me and the Husky are a wombo combo, and he has, what is this? Extra attack damage to do as well. Now he's up to 40 damage a hit. Husky. 10 out of 10 would rescue you again. What is this? Painkillers? 15 health? That's it? Really? Like, you're, this I, a can of beans is just as good as the painkillers, is what you're telling me. All right, interesting logic game. Unless that's like a typo and should be like 150. Otherwise, that makes like no sense to me. Hello, dog. You a cool there, pup? All right. Looks like he's a little bit stuck. So be it. Sometimes people get stuck. I understand. Oh, god dang it. Oh, we still got the hit off. I was about to be like, doggo, god dang it. All right, doggo, I reckon that there's a pretty tough looking enemy up there, up ahead. Why don't we... Do, 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 do. We still got to find, what, like two more chests to clear up this quest. Uh, we'll continue using Lucille in that case. Let's get this guy over here. Oh, that's the putrefier. Oh, that is a big lad. I did not expect it to be one of the 1500 health dudes. Uh, all right, we got to do some teamwork here. Dog, 
You must be fed. It is time to get aggressive. There you go. Me and you, baby. It's together against the world. Mar Husky, hopefully, will be able to keep on surviving here pretty well. I'm going to feed you up those bones. Please do not die, Husk. Otherwise, okay, I'm going to put you in passive mode. Do not want you suffering. I'm suffering. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. We might want to go to the pistol because he still has a lot of health and is still being very deadly. Uh, Okay, hold on. I forgot we can hot swap to the pistol here. And let's just, yeah, you came a little bit. Oh, nice. He, wasn't even, he was not even able to get that attack off. We will finish him from a distance. Hopefully our husky can get like an easy peasy level up here because I think every level they do get some full health and I want him to be in combat so he continues leveling up. But all right, Putrefire, see you later. Let me just go over to the baseball bat for the finishing blow. Hey, he doesn't even have to. Oh, no, the leeches, not the leeches. Ow, ow, how, oh my God. Ah! All right, boys and girls, here's the good news. Our dog can do 40 damage. Those leeches had 40 health. It doesn't look like they're here anymore, but nonetheless, I am very skeptical because God dang it, those things are evil. There we go. We popped everything on just as it was before, except for those band-aids that should be right over there. Now let's start making our way back over here. We do just have a pretty vanilla looking enemy, just a batter. Oh, that one-two wombo combo with our husky is gonna be nutty. Let's grab what we can from there. A dumpster. Hey, still counts as a chest if you ask me. Let's see what's here. Hey, oh, some band-aids. Unfortunately, we cannot put those directly into our pocket as much as I wish that we could. That would be rather handy. Uh, instead, hey, oh, I forgot searching the same chest twice works. Well, uh, thank you for the loot there. I will claim that. And uh, what's next up on the uh, quest list here? Craft an iron axe, craft an iron pickaxe, and build a refining workshop. So it looks like the game doesn't necessarily want us to continue going forward with the shelter. But listen here, I'm not a man to stop already. Especially when me and our dog do have this beautiful wombo combo going on. Dude, our dog can just do all the work in that situation. What type of enemy do we have here? The engineer? Guess what? I ain't even scared of you, engineer. Come at me, bro! Me, Lucille, and the husky will be your doom! And level 15 is the husky's. He has a talent point. And what can we do? Extra defense or German Shepherd's an actor? I don't know what being an actor means. I don't know why you need to go to acting school, but I will give you extra defense so you hopefully can uh, survive a bit better. Ooh, there's someone on patrol outside. Hello, hello. Oh, that's the needler. Jeebus. Okay, if we're dealing with that thing, let's make sure we are at the fullest of health. And uh, let's make sure that our dog is ready to go here because things are about to get a fungal and big hit. Come on, doggo. Finish the job. Oh, no, it summoned Bebis. It summoned Bebis. Excuse me, that's a thing. Why do you have little Bebis? Why are there baby mosquitoes? I don't know. It's dead. Okay, we're good to go. We're good. Don't ask questions. No need, no need. I put you, hello, dog, please. There we go. Go in chill mode. This thing is about to break, unfortunately, but we have maybe just a pretty easy roamer there. What do we have here? Another roamer. Our dog just running around like a doofus, and there we go, a batter. Let's take out the batter that way. Put the dog in combat mode. Doggo, I think you uh, know what to do with those two dinguses. I'll let you get some practice in. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotta make sure our, you know, doggo's in good shape. Let's see what we got within the dead body, McGee. We have some jam. All right. I'll chow down. I'll stack that. I don't really care about the paint too much. I'll pick up the fillings for now, though. Oh, no. Okay. Doggo, you got that guy? Okay, good. Because we got a little bit of a tougher dude within here. The Earth Shaker. Yeet! There we go. Let's run out of there. Doggo, back into combat mode. We got some batters that we got to deal with. I'll deal with that one. Let's go. Oh, did not mean. Okay. We are out of melee weapon. Uh, this might be our call to exit. As much as I'd love... Oh, and we just got the 40th freaking cap too. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, this might be our call to exit because, I mean, I don't want to be using this machete on just anything. This cone head, that's a decent reason. Oh, big hit, baby. I mean, there's still like some pretty tough enemies patrolling that we got to watch out for. Still some things we could loot up here. But I think we're getting pretty close to the end, so like we could honestly try and come back here a little bit later with some more weaponry. Have some em uh, empty inventory room as well, so we could uh, 
do the thing with uh, the green ticket crate because currently if we open that thing up like we're not gonna get anything out of it as much as I wish we would I will be picking up the wire fence and I'll pick that up for now we'll come back for the rest of this jazz we have quite a little bit of loot to go and we are getting by the looks of it in the tail half of this entire shindig I think we're over halfway done with floor two We'll see what the end contains. We'll see what those chests at the end contain and all that type of jazz in the next episode of Wasteland Survival. Because with that said, with that done, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just haul some stuff home. I think we'll just try and haul home as much. In oh my god, those freaking spiders crawling around, man. I am spooked by that giant zombie spider thing. But I'm just going to go ahead bring that gas uh whatchamacall thing back home and then next time when we start an episode we'll go ahead and actually assemble some parts of the motorcycle because if you guys uh do recall we also have another part the next part after the gas tank already awaiting at home so the fun times are definitely awaiting but with that said with that done that's going to wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole time for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya